Hey, what's going on guys? It's Drake with Extreme Sports, and today we're going to be setting up our spools to use with our DSMBs. What we're going to need is Sharpie, a uh, tape measure with at least 15 foot on it, a pair of scissors, bolt snap, a lighter, the spool itself, and the DM DSMB. So, if you, when you get a brand new spool, a lot of them are packed full with line, and uh, I like to go ahead and take off about 15 foot of line, just enough room to give me uh, space to where I can clip my SMB because they come pack full and then you can't get these things in here You're struggling. You got to force it just too much work. So take some off um, You can use it as a spare throw it in a save a dive kit um, All the line that comes on these SMBs can always be used to tie bolt snaps and everything as well so We take the line um, take off about 15 foot Clip it and then burn the end of it that way. It's easier to work with it doesn't fray but the uh, first thing that we want to do or actually the reason I'm doing this is because mine actually had a tear start showing up inside of it and during an inspection and if I go to pull that that will probably break so we want to go ahead take some line off and fix that so the first thing we're gonna do is unspool a little bit of line we want to give ourselves um, probably about two feet here something like that and then we're going to make about a foot long of a loop here and then we're going to do a simple overhand knot make sure it gets sunk down as far as I can and we want to give ourselves probably what do you say that's probably a seven inch loop something like that maybe eight <clears throat> tighten that down you can do two overhand knots on it I just do one works just fine and I leave myself a little tag in that way if this does cinch up over time it's not gonna come out come undone burn the end smash it that way it doesn't fray and then what we're gonna want to do Let's come down about, uh, let's say two inches from that first knot on just one of the strands, either one's fine, about two inches on it, and we're going to do another overhand knot, just kind of in the middle of the line, and you'll see what that's used for here in a second. Going to tighten that guy down, and that looks to be about perfect. <clears throat> you can see that is about right, and then once we do the knot here, that'll be about the right length. <clears throat> And just for show, that way you guys get kind of an idea of what you need to do here. That knot is about seven and a half inches, well, probably about seven inches to the end. That knot is about um, five and a quarter up. And then the last step is we're gonna do a single overhand knot at the end. Make sure you keep the slack out of this because if you don't, one side will be longer than the other and it'll just be kind of annoying. So take the slack out, do a simple, overhand knot once again just like so and then now this is how we have it set up okay now that we've got it all set up we've got the um, loop on the spool we want to simply lay it down and right as that starts to pop up we want to pass it through the loop here and then once that loop is passed through we can take our bolt snap Clip it, wrap it around, and lock it in. I'll do that a couple times because this is one part that a lot of people really struggle with. We take the bolt snap, clip it into the loop after it's passed through the spool. We wrap it around the back of the bolt snap, the um, push lever, and you can see how it kind of prevents this knob from wanting to go, go down, which is what we want. We don't want this thing to come undone when we're underwater because then we have spool that's getting wrapped around stuff and we're dropping it. And then we slowly open it back up. You can open it, it's got a little tension, and then clip it back into the system itself. And now the system can't come undone. I can bang it around, move it like this, and it can't come undone. A lot of people tend to um, set up their spools just like this. They've got a little loop like this, and they take this, clip it, and clip it to the side. And then they'll take this and pass it through, or they will clip it to this and then clip that to their BC. I don't like doing that because all it takes is for something to get to move this and then now you've lost your spool. And this side is the worst part. If you take this thing just the right angle and you hit it, there goes your spool. And it goes underwater. So we wrap up our line when we're setting up our, our system. Right as that knob or right as that tag end is kicked up, 
we pass it through the hole. That's the reason we leave these on here. It's easier to grab onto that knot and grab it, especially with thick gloves. We take the loop, clip the bolt snap to it, wrap it back around, clip it to it. Take this system, or take the bolt snap, pass it through the DSMB, clip this somewhere. That way, if you drop this thing, this thing comes, comes down as a unit. Really not gonna probably end up dropping this thing. Um, you can get some bolt snaps that are really firm so you don't have to deal with that. But when we go to deploy the system, I've got a video that's on deploying the DSMB. We pass it through the D-ring, we unclip it from our BC, or you can use these tech shorts, which I really like. <clears throat> They've got a little pocket on them with a little thing that you can close up to, a little bungee, and then you can shove in the pockets. These are what I tend to use, but to each their own. When we're ready to deploy this thing, we are ready to store it, pass it through, clip it, get ready to deploy, um, loop it. I stick the DSMB under my arm. We unravel, clip the D-ring to our BC. I will actually just clip it here just for a demonstration. And what that tag end is for now is to get the line out because you can see it's hard to grab that line um, when it's sitting there. But that gives us a spot we can pull it through. Works great. <clears throat> I will tighten it up a little bit. We'll get out our DSMB. We pass the rope through it. And that opening is for that SMB to go through. We tighten it all down. <clears throat> and this thing is ready to be deployed. Undo this, and then we would deploy it. What this tag end is for at the very end is for when we're at the surface, ready to put it back into our tech shorts or um, clip it to our BC, that tag end, I just lift and then pass this through. That's what that tag is for. Okay, now what's the Sharpie and the uh, tape measure for? Well, I go ahead and measure out 15 foot um, and I tie a knot and I Sharpie around it. Reason for that is when I'm spooling this system up, and I spool it by clipping it around, start wrapping it. I know when I see that black, oh, okay, I'm at my safety stop. And I go ahead and clip right there to it. Clip to the line, clip there, and it stopped. And so right at 15 foot, I've got that knot and that black Sharpie, and I can just sit here and hang on my SMB, or hang on my spool. <clears throat> so if you guys have any questions about how to set up the system up, drop it in the comments below. Um, I'm always looking for suggestions, stuff like that, so it's kind of an open discussion, um, but I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that, and have a great day.